Good morning, everyone. Treasure Troller here from the mask-wearing militant state of Michigan. And I guess I should add to it where we make a COVID vaccine, but Michigan is short of COVID vaccines. Bit of a head scratcher. But it is what it is. I should have added that on yesterday's vlog. She's begging Biden for vaccines, and they make them, I don't know what it is, maybe 100 miles west of Lansing in Kalamazoo. I think she needs to get in the family van, head over to Johnson & Johnson, back that little thing up into the loading dock, take a few of these Black Lives Matter people with them so they can loot the place. Load up the family van with vaccines and head on down the road. So that was the first thing. The second thing is, Bigelow talked about it a little bit yesterday. I wanted to say something about it as well, and that was the the shooting in Milwaukee. But I was but I was going to talk about. A shooting that took place in New Mexico where on a traffic stop the officer wanted the guy to come back to his car the officer was on the passenger it was a pickup truck actually and when the guy got out of the cab he grabbed his his AR and opened fire on the police officer and of course we all know the uh, taser 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 Whoops, I shot him uh, in Minnesota. So I'm not going to rehash the things that that Bigelow said, but the, the thing that, that sort of concerns me, that bothers me, uh, is the reason for these traffic stops. To me, they're, you know, they're, they're nothing more than interdiction stops. I mean, tags right now, pulling the car over for expired tabs. Uh, when when Secretary of State offices are basically, well, in Michigan, they're by appointment only. Good luck being like in a, a big city like Minneapolis. Or even Detroit and trying to get a an appointment that doesn't interfere with your your work life. The guy in New Mexico, well, he pulled the dryer over for tinted wind tinted windows. You know, these hero stops have got to stop. I think for, for most people, most law-abiding citizens, you know, getting pulled getting pulled over for not using your blinker and, you know, in hopes that he's going to tag you for a DUI or something, you know, the hero stops have, have got to come to an end. But the other thing that sort of bothers me about what could happen in the future is that they want and this is going with the, the George Floyd trial, was that, you know, they want you to forget about, you know, drugs in his system. They want you to forget about his health. I mean, if it does, it doesn't matter if, if there, uh, if something happens while they're in your, while you're detaining them or in your custody, then you're responsible for them. I just don't see police taking the effort, the extra effort anymore of trying to subdue you physically and put themselves at risk because they want to just, you know, hold you down and keep you there until the paddy wagon arrives. I think they're just going to go to the taser, 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 because if you got a heart condition and they have you handcuffed on the, you know, on the ground... It, they're just as liable. They might as well not take the risk, and they're they're just not going to hassle with people anymore. 
Uh, they're just going to, if you're not going to comply, they're going to tase you. You know, if nothing matters as far as, you know, as far as the, the uh, I guess then would be the suspect's uh, health or anything. If, if that's not going to matter, then, then why go the extra mile? Why do they want to put themselves at bodily risk or injury? And and if they're going to if they're going to be held responsible for it, when they're when they're acting half crazy like the kid wanted to run away in his car, um, just go just go ahead and go go right to uh, go right to the ta don't tase me, bro, and just and just put him down that way, get him locked up. I, I think that's, uh, that's, you know, maybe that's, that's what I would think. I mean, why, why do I want to go out of my way and try to make it as, as comfortable, you know, an arrest as possible when if something happens, it's going to be my ass. I'm in, and I'm going to be responsible for your health and everything. I might as well just tase you and, uh, get the cuffs on you. But I think the interdiction stops. I, I really think they should uh, they should put an end to those. I don't think it's worth the risk, and I don't think it's worth getting people, you know, upset with law enforcement over just you know needless. Your tail lights out, so they got to pull you over. You know, maybe we can get them for uh, whatever. I just wish those would stop. So stop the interdictions. And uh, I wish I would have thought about that yesterday. The irony of Michigan needs more vaccines than calling Washington and getting on her knees and begging Joe Biden for more vaccines when the shit is right down the road in Kalamazoo. That's a head scratcher. It really is. That, this is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day.